U.S. extreme skier Glenn Plake arrived safely back in Kathmandu, battered, bruised, and overwhelmed. I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world at the moment. The California daredevil survived a deadly avalanche Sunday on Mount Manaslu, the eighth highest mountain in the world. About two dozen climbers were sleeping at a camp just above 22,000 feet when disaster hit. Plake says he was awake in his tent reading his Bible when he heard a loud roar. A wall of snow swept away all of the tents and the people in them. The avalanche hurled Plake a thousand feet down the mountain. He was barefoot and injured. He punched his way out of his tent to search for others, but found no one. You know, you're doing everything you want to do because you know your friends' lives depend on your next actions. And unfortunately, everything that I did proved to, to, to produce nothing. So then at that point, I had to start thinking about my own life. Plake said the camp looked like a war zone when rescue crews arrived to fly him and other survivors out. The world-famous free skier had hoped to ski off the mountain once he and his teammates reached the top. Plake and his two French colleagues talked about their plan before they left. Skiing the eighth highest mountain in the world. It's a good idea. Tell me more. <laughs> Plake is famous for making light of risk taking, but says he's now heartbroken his friends are still missing and presumed dead. Tina Krause, CBS News.